Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, I'm going to show you one of probably the most requested features I've seen for Squarespace, um, where you can click a button to reveal an entire section. This one's pretty complex. Took me a while to figure out me and ChatGPT. So let's get into it. Um, first thing, so hop into the page you want to do this on. I'm going to call this section right here is where my button is going to go. And then this section right here is going to be the section that appears on click. So Again, think of this as almost like a larger version of an accordion. Like if you want to click a button to say like, learn more, and then this section reveals underneath and you know, you can do whatever you want with it. So this is kind of why I have this set up. Okay, this section that you want to be hidden and then to reveal on click, go into edit section, scroll down to anchor link. Some people might not have this feature yet. It's kind of new still um, for this. I'll show you what else to do um, just in case you don't have this, don't worry. Um, Add the word, I've been, I'm adding the word reveal. That's what I'm using for all of this. You can replace it in the tutorial if you want to use a different word. So reveal, bam. Okay. If you don't have that feature for adding anchor links yet, go to add block, add a code block. I usually do it like at the very top of the section um, and paste, this is in the post, paste this in. Again, here is your word if you need to replace it. Um, really random quick note, every now and then when I paste this in, it like won't like, it won't work so you can also like manually if, if for some reason like you're using this and it's not working um this would be the first like troubleshooting i would try to do is manually type this in and then just delete the one that was copied and pasted i have no idea why but i've noticed that sometimes it doesn't work okay um all right we have our anchor link i'm going to save that and exit. Okay, next step is adding the CSS. So I'm copying this all directly from the post. I wanna go over to your website tools, your custom CSS panel, and I'm gonna drop this in and like clean it up really quick. So what's happening now is it is saying that we want to initially hide this section that is hashtag reveal. So that's our, our anchor link. Basically, this is kind of like acting as your like you can see if I click here, this is now like my section ID. So it actually changes your section ID. So it's kind of the same. So it's hiding this initially and then it's revealing it when it's targeted on click. So let me show you how this works. So nothing's happening yet. Um, if I refresh this page, something might happen, but first let's add a button. So what we wanna do now, and I know this is like, this one's pretty complex. So we wanna go back into the page on this top section. We're gonna go ahead and add our button. And let's, we can keep it, learn more. It doesn't matter what the button says. All that matters is, so you can, the text can be whatever you want. In here, you want to do your hashtag reveal or whatever word you're using. Make sure to unclick, open a new tab. All right, save and exit. Um, at this point, it's probably going to be, I learned that even if I refresh the page um, in this like test mode, it's, kind of weird. So I need to like go to a different page and I'm going to go back to the page. So you can see now that when I've gone back to the page, that section, it's kind of confusing because I had the same photo in the next section. Um, but the section I want to hide is hidden. So if I click learn more, it becomes revealed and it automatically scrolls you down, which is super cool. I've wanted this for so long. Um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. This one's a little, again, a little tricky. I'm still figuring out some of the ins and outs of it, of um, the little intricacies. So comment if you have any questions and we'll try to figure them out together and make sure to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy.